one. Yeah, uh, now I'm here it again to show you something or to share you something. Maybe some mechanic is not related in this type of parts. These parts is came from the main control valve of excavator. You know what type of excavator? This is a PC400 excavator. Okay, PC400 dash 7 and also dash 6. That's the same. Okay, this relief bulb. Why this is now on my hand? It is not connected to the machine. This relief bulb is a. Uh, you know what is the. Usually, I think there is a common for every, every mechanic. But it's, it is not easy to find it out. Where is the problem? You know, there is. You know the usually problem it's happen. You know the triggering. For example, this is the lever. When you function it the bucket curl like that, bucket curl, and then bucket out. This pilot control, it is vibrating like that. When you curling, uh, used to curl, it's vibrating and also swing. It's vibrating or using arm, arm, stick, is out and curl out and curl and then boom up and then down okay you know this problem I think is always will be uh, you know this always happen to all uh, excavator of Comacho keep reaching around the two three years or four years sometimes maximum five years or after three years that happened by vibrating or triggering the stick or boom or arm the pilot control sorry you know what I found out okay this is the control valve and then also the pressure is not maintained on the maximum if I uh, full the uh, full the pilot control like full triggering on curl position the pressure is more up and more up and then more down so for example the maximum pressure is 345 but so the pressure sometimes coming low around 320 and then up at 350 or 60 and then the, the uh, what I told you I was I, I was told it before it is the triggering you know what what we have what is the problem inside this main relief bulb uh, the, the name of this part is main relief bulb okay this was connected to the two stage solenoid two stage solenoid so I inspect inside I open it now I open already separated into two, two, two three parts okay already removed the needle and the spring the spring is very uh, unusual look the spring I think it's good and you know what I found out uh, there is one small cup inside this small cup have a small o-ring also this is the o-ring this is the o-ring so this already is already new i already replaced new one i found it out and then broke in as so many pieces staying inside together with this cup okay so i replace a new one and then uh now after i have uh, replacement uh, after the replacement of the o-ring i already put it back and then fix it like that and then close put the needle needle in the spring together at the time and then fix like this this main relief valve you know when I fix it to the machine because this part is a uh, very expensive so as very small this is small things or uh, parts of the uh, control valve but 
so there is a there is a big uh, this is a, a big part handling work of the excavator okay when I fix it uh, luckily everything it's reaching normal until I uh, adjust in a normal pressure this lock nut and then this is the clockwise position to to maximize to reach up when you tight the pressure will be coming up when you lose the pressure will be coming down so I reach how I adjusted the pressure I use the gauge the machine gauge on the monitor by accessing the secret code to get the pressure gauge of the machine okay now luckily it's already everything it will become non normal once I reach, reach the maximum pressure by the applicable pressure of the machine to give the full and maximum power of the machine okay this is a very important part so any mechanic uh, this just for me uh, uh, based on my experience so I found that problem so some of the mechanic there because this is a very expensive before you do uh, requested a new parts just try try it first to repair anything it is for my experience only anything that you expecting that that parts is damaged just try to open it first if you confuse to open to make it sure just put marking marking to make it sure the direction or the normal adjustment if you confuse that this is uh we need some adjustment or what just put a marking to not to uh to make it for yourself not to lose on the direction and the normal pressure how to adjust and then also after this I will show you how to adjust actual on the machine okay because this is very expensive I apply it first by my technical knowledge and then luckily I found the problem that this portion it is a low pressure for the pilot control for the pilot you say low pressure so because the ring is damaged so the low pressure and the high pressure it's uh, uh, fighting together that's why the control is triggering so sometimes the pressure from high pressure is moving up to attack the low pressure so and then sometimes the low pressure uh, trying to control to control the maham are high pressure that's why that the control is vibrating triggering like that okay. this part is not a very difficult to repair okay it's very simple but this part is the main 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 use uh, what, what I mean is is the main parts that uh, protecting and reduce uh, controlling the maximum pressure to protect everything that what we have on the hydraulic system of this excavator okay this is the very important parts of the excavator without this you cannot control the normal or regulate the pressure so this is a uh, very simple parts okay lock nut this is attached to the control valve in this portion okay you have to use 32 spanner and 30 and 24 32 30 and 24 and then this side is the hose going to the two stage solenoid two stage and then the other one also this uh, both hose is going to the two stage solenoid so the two stage solenoid they have a two pipe uh, two Y connector up there okay 
so this is a uh, very simple this is the only parts we have inside okay one that cup we have a small o-ring inside and needle and a spring that's all and uh, there is a uh, one small bulb inside see this bulb this bulb so this uh, only that they have inside is spool small spool this is a small spool with a small spring so i can push see then this side is playing so but that parts inside is okay only the problem is on the small cuff that holding of this needle that cuff this is only the problem the small o-ring inside is broken so it's broken meaning say the pressure from the pilot supply it is moving out on the side of this cup so uncontrolled pressure so that's that's this uh, function of the relief valve